disqualification event, no time limit. Introducing first from Dillon, South Carolina, weighing in at 268 pounds, the freight train Rufus R. Jones. His opponent from the south side of Chicago at 320 pounds, Van Leroy Brown. Van Leroy Brown on the far side of the ring going up against Rufus R. Jones, the freight train, Mr. Magic as he is called. A guy with a tremendous personality, uh, an unusual, unorthodox style in the ring, buddy. Well, he certainly does have an unusual style. Uh, you know, I've known Rufus R. Jones for probably about 15 years. I met him back in Kansas City uh, many years back. And he came in there with quite, he was quite a flash there. I mean, he was a Mr. Magic there. He always has been. He brings a lot of personality, a lot of color to the ring. But right now, it seems like he's had a lot of problems with Big Bad Leroy Brown. And Big Bad Leroy Brown doesn't want his brother calling him brother. And uh, it seems like Rufus R. Jones insists that everybody is his brother. He does indeed. And it is uh, Leroy Brown who comes into this match with a definite superiority complex. Oh, absolutely. He does have a superiority complex. However, uh, Rufus R. Jones is, might bring Leroy Brown down to uh, a little bit lower. He might get rid of that complex somewhat. They lock up. Brown at the same token. Ooh, a headbutt. And no effect on Rufus. Well, sooner or later, somebody's head has to give in. I don't care how thick that skull is, somebody's head is going to soften after those headbutts like that because you start pounding away at that brain up there and something's got to give, Gordon. Locking up once again, and it's uh, Rufus R. Jones pulling uh, Brown back into the corner. You talk about two big men. 320 pounds on Bad Bad Leroy Brown. He's in the black. Rufus R. Jones in the red. Well, it seems like Rufus R. Jones' style is to kind of get the big, bad Leroy Brown disoriented. He moves around a lot and keeps him confused as to what he's going to do next. Uh, seems like Rufus R. Jones does have quite a few moves. Big, bad Leroy Brown really is beating on the back of uh, Jones' head now. He's, he's got him in a little trouble here, but I don't think Rufus R. Jones is out yet. He's, he's got a lot of determination. Oh, he starts beating him in the head now. That's where this man can take a lot of punishment. He's got a very hard head. Well, I'll tell you one thing about uh, Big Bad Leroy Brown, and I uh, went into some of his background. I went up on Western Avenue in the uh, south side of Chicago, and I'll guarantee you about uh, uh, this fellow. Uh, he's been in a lot of uh, Chicago street fights. He knows what it's like to mix it up. He may not be the fanciest wrestler in the world, but uh, Brown is bad news when it comes to those dudes. Well, Gordon, when a man is 320 pounds, grown up in the uh, west side of Chicago in street fights, he's tough. Because you have to take a lot of punishment just to survive in street like that, and he can take it out. He can dish it and take it both. Right now, he does have Rufus in a little trouble here. On those ring ropes, and it is uh, Rufus Jones back into the... Uh, center part of the ring and bad bad Leroy Brown closing in on him once again well it looks like Rufus R. Jones is really going to have to try and do a little thinking here try to get his wits back with him and uh, what he's going to have to come up with some good counters get out here because he is in trouble now it seems like the last two or three minutes Leroy Brown has just been punishing Rufus R. Jones and uh, well here he comes he's coming at him now but not quite enough. Well, it's a lights out match. Anything goes. It's outside the sanction of the uh, NWA. Wow. Jones explodes back, explodes again. See, with a lights out match, the referee is almost powerless to do anything in there. The referee is just there to count the pinfalls or listen to a man submit. There can be no fines or uh, no disqualification in the lights out match because absolutely anything goes. Brother Jones wound up from the backyard. He caught the uh, alongside the ear that percussion of the ear had to make him lose his balance and uh, he had brown's eyes rolling well when 320 pounds of that falls out it makes an awful big thud going down now he's out here on the floor with rufus r jones right behind him going after him rufus r jones is not giving him a chance he's staying right on him now we've uh, got him uh, battling right out here on the uh, on the floor and ooh brother he drove Rufus R. right into the ring post. Caught him on that steel ring post. 
Well, Gordon, it looks to me like Rufus R. Jones, four in his last three, the right here beside me now. There's big bad Leroy Brown just putting out a lot of punishment on Rufus R. Jones now. Right, right here on my table, right in front of me, yes, absolutely. Rufus R. Jones, forehead is last, got a severe laceration about his head. Looks like Leroy Brown is right on top of him, trying, trying to tear his eyes out.